So now that we have installed the program, we can take a look at the usage or maybe the decoding how to page. These pages are useful for getting to learn how, how to use the programs and also how to do the decoding. In this case, we will use decode, lifemon, capture, and in the future, we may use channelize and maybe scanner. But channelize, for channelize, we need to capture a wide band C file or capture file. And in that case, we need a better software defined radio. So let's just minimize this. And the first thing that we want to do is that we want to, for example, see if we can capture GSM data over the wire or rather the air. So we will double click on loopback here. You can also go go and then you can, or capture start for example. Make sure it says loopback. And then we need to run GRGSM Liveman. Just turn off the sound. We don't need that anymore. And then we need to, we'll just expand this window a bit. Now we need to find a frequency. We can also adjust the gain a bit, like 40. That's a good number. So right now, if there are any, if there is any data, it will show up down here and it will also, there will be like a spike here in the middle if we've done it correctly. And we will also be able to see the packages here. So what we are going to do is that just going to move this around a bit so you can see everything happening. So it's more fun. Okay. And we will have a look at these here, these channels. So we will try and pick up channel 98 or 954.6. So we will just open our text editor 954. 600 and then three more zeros. So that's basically the number that you have over here, the full number in Hertz or the frequency in Hertz, not kilohertz, not megahertz, just Hertz. So we'll just type it in here, copy paste, and then click here, for example. And you can see that we are getting data here and we're also decoding the packets in Wireshark now, so that's very, very nice. And we can see there is a nice little spike here. It's not super indicative that there is a channel here, but nonetheless, it's not just flat. So if we just minimize this and minimize this, then we can take a look at some of the packages. And this will go on forever until you, in, until you tell it to stop sniffing. So we'll just stop capturing and then we can look at the packages. So these first four here, they're not super important, but from GSM tab header and down, that's what we want to look at. So we can look at the frame number, for example, the sub slot, and this is the more interesting stuff. There are some, some more details here, and it depends on the type of package because this is a different type compared to this one. So there's quite a bit of information in these packages. We don't need all of the information that is, that is here, but it, it's good enough. So for example, this package shows the MNC, MCC, and the LAC, I think it is. So that can be used to look up the approximate area from where the BTS or antenna is, the transmitter. And here we have some more information about the network. There is some cell channel description. This is useful for identifying the potential hopping channels in use. So that's quite useful. And this is basically the downlink channel saying, hey, first there are two paging requests typically, and then it says, hey, immediate assignment. That means like, hey, you're, you're about to receive data. And then it says, let's just scroll down. And then it says, 
go to time slot 7, channel type 1, to continue, and then something more will happen at that point. Something more being that it will say that what kind of encryption is being used and and more stuff. But it will also start encrypting. So we'll get into that. We can also see if there is a more typical packet for immediate assignment. We can sort it up here. So we can just look for there is a different type of packet and this is this is a different type of immediate assignment. This is most likely a call or SMS. So it says, hey, are you awake? Go to this channel. That's sub channel three, time slot one. We're not hopping channels. And it's on this uh, main channel. And that basically, that's basically where the phone is now going to listen and for more information, like what to do. Is it a call? Is it an SMS? But it will also start encryption after it has received further information from the BTS. So that's pretty much how you can sniff the basic downstream. And this is all public information, so there's nothing sensitive or secret about it. This is something that your mobile phone is listening to all the time without you noticing. So that's how it looks. Stay tuned and subscribe.